Welcome back, welcome back, any and all, glad y'all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word, glory be to God. I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you, it is he that woke us up. We cannot wake ourselves up, no, we can't do anything on our own, not even breathe, believe it or not. And I hope you all told your loved ones that you love them, we're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Today we're still in the book of Isaiah, and we're on chapter 45 which has, I believe, four chapters to it, or five, let me see. One, two, three, four chapters. And they are, Cyrus obeys the Lord's commands, the Lord's mighty power, the Lord alone can save, and everyone is invited. Before we do that, though, before we do any scripture reading, I hope that you all have given your life to Christ Jesus. I hope that you are saved, all of you, and that you read God's word daily, preferably the King James Version, the Bible, and that you go down on your knees in prayer and you cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth so that you hear from him. You need to have that personal relationship with him. The Father wants that personal relationship with each and every one of his children. He loves us all. He has no respect of persons. And you also need to hear from him. Not only that, he will, if you cry out to him in sincerity and truth, he hear your cries, he will answer. Not only that, he will teach you the word of God. And you have, to, you have to also live a daily life of repentance. We have to live a holy life. Father says, be ye holy for I am holy. Right? But that being said, before we go into our reading, like I said, you have to live a holy life. You have to give your, lay your life down and give it to the Lord and live for the Lord today before it's too late. Right? We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Father laid his, Father God laid his life down. You know what I'm saying? Jesus laid his life down. Because he loves us and he wanted to be obedient to his father. And as Jesus said, the Father and I are one. So there's the Father, the Lord, and the Holy Spirit. They're one. They're one. Okay? But um Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Alright? But with that being said, I hope you all have given your life to Christ Jesus, because I don't know what you're waiting for. The Father said if you love, if you if if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Not only that, the Father said, if you're going to honor me, you got to honor my son as you honor me. And if you honor the son, you got to honor the Father as well. Right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He gave all authority to Jesus. Okay? Hallelujah. That being said, we're going to say a prayer for children all ages. And then we're going to do our reading. Hallelujah. Again, we're on Isaiah chapter 45. Cyrus obeys the Lord's commands. Commands. And we're going to say a prayer. Hallelujah. The children of all ages. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for every day. Thank you, Father God, for everything. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your provisions. Thank you, Father, for waking us up this morning and keeping us overnight. Thank you, Father, for our family members, loved ones, and friends. Thank you, Father God, for our neighbors. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us how to treat our neighbors the way that we treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. And, Father, we love you. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Let's go into our reading. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 45. Cyrus obeys the Lord's commands. The Lord said to Cyrus, his chosen one, I have taken hold of your right hand to help you capture nations and remove kings from power. City gates will open for you. Not one will stay closed. As I lead you, I will level mountains and break the iron bars on bronze gates of cities. I will give you treasures hidden in dark and secret places. Then you will know that I, the Lord God of Israel, have called you by name. Cyrus, you don't even know me, but I have called you by name and highly honored you because of Israel, my chosen servant. Only I am the Lord. There are no other gods. I have made you strong, though you don't know me. Now everyone from east to west will learn that I am the Lord. No other gods are real. I create light and darkness, happiness and sorrow. I, the Lord, do all of this. Tell the heavens to send down justice like showers of rain. Prepare the earth for my saving power to sprout and produce justice that I, the Lord, create. The Lord's mighty power. The Lord said, Israel, 
You have no right to argue with your creator. You are merely a clay pot shaped by a potter. The clay doesn't ask, why did you make me this way? Where are the handles? Children don't have the right to demand of their parents. What have you done to make us what we are? I am the Lord, the creator, the holy God of Israel. Do you dare question me about my own nation or about what I have done? I created the world and covered it with people. I stretched out the sky and filled it with stars. I have done the right thing by placing Cyrus in power, and I will make the roads easy for him to follow. I am the Lord all-powerful. Cyrus will rebuild my city and set my people free without being paid a thing. I, the Lord, have spoken. The Lord alone can save. My people, I, the Lord, promise that the riches of Egypt and the treasures of Ethiopia will belong to you. You will force, you will force into slavery those tall, those tall people of Seba. They will bow down and say, the only true God is with you. There are no other gods. People of Israel, your God is a mystery. Though he alone can save, anyone who makes idols will be confused and terribly disgraced. But, uh, but Israel, I, the Lord, will always keep you safe and free from shame. Everyone is invited. The Lord alone is God. He created the heavens and made a world where people can live instead of creating an empty desert. The Lord alone is God. There are no others. The Lord did not speak in a dark secret place or command Jacob's descendants to search for him in vain. The Lord speaks the truth, and this is what he says to every survivor from every nation. Gather around me. Learn how senseless it is to worship wooden idols or pray to helpless gods. Why don't you get together and meet me in court? Didn't I tell you long ago what would happen? I am the only God. There are no others. I bring about justice and have the power to save. I invite the whole world to turn to me and be saved. I alone am God. No others are real. I have made a solemn promise, one that won't be broken. Everyone will bow down and worship me. They will admit that I alone can bring about justice. Everyone who is angry with me will be terribly ashamed and will turn to me. I, the Lord, will give victory and great honor to the people of Israel. Amen. God's willing, Monday, we'll come back to chapter 46, still in the book of Isaiah. And how many chapters do we have to it? One, two, only two. Babylonians, God, gods are helpless, and the Lord alone is God. Wow. That being said, you all tell your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. Please give your life to Christ Jesus if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? I'm sure you're tired of beating your head against the wall and getting the same results. You want to win for real? Give your life to Christ. Enough is enough, right? He died on the cross for all our sins. And he didn't die for one or some, he died for us all. So grab hold why his arms are still outstretched because the time is going to come where people are going to seek the Lord and they won't be able to find him. Because just as the ark, the door on the ark closed, but the people kept being warned and getting that ark and they didn't listen, well, the same thing like the word of God. We're telling you to seek the Lord while you still can today, while he still may be found, and read the word of God. Soon they're gonna, you're not going to be allowed to say anything about it, and you're not going to be able to get the whole of the word. It won't be available. His word will fail to stand, but you won't be able to find him because you're going to look for him and you ain't going to find him. Okay? The Lord loves us all. He has no respect to our persons. Please give your life to Christ Jesus today. And um, also, Father God says, Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is not something up for debate or discussion. That's something we all must do. So please do it. Please do it. And remember, your neighbors are those that live by you. You must love them as you love yourself. But also, your neighbors are those wherever you go. Those near you are your neighbors. Love them as you love yourself. I love you all the love of the Lord. That's why I tell you the truth. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day and a beautiful, blessed weekend. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.